I decided to write the book, 29 Gifts, because I really wanted to tell this story of transformation that happened for me. 29 Gifts is a worldwide giving movement with 5,000 members in about 38 countries. It started out with just me. I was very sick and in a pretty deep, dark place in my life um, and was given an uncommon prescription from a, an African medicine woman to give away 29 gifts in 29 days. And she predicted that it would help me break out of the negative thought patterns that were going on around my illness, given that I had been in the hospital four times in five months and literally couldn't walk. I thought it was a totally crazy idea. And I was totally shocked when I decided to go ahead and take her suggestion. It took me a little while, but eventually I did. I started giving and about halfway through my giving, it was amazing. I was walking again without a cane. I had clients calling me out of nowhere, so business was starting to pick up for me. So around that point was when I decided to put a website up and start telling the stories, the daily stories about the, the gifts that I gave and the experiences that I had with people. So the book is primarily a memoir that tells the story of those 29 days. And in the back of the book, there's actually a collection of essays from nine different people who have tried the 29 gifts experiment or prescription and had a great experience. Throughout the first, those first 29 days of giving, I usually gave very simple things. Like I gave a Kleenex to a friend who was crying. Um, I actually gave my acupuncturist, I gave her a conch shell. Um, and it represents the calling of the Buddha. As a community, we had a day that we noted as Giving Rocks Day. Here's one of mine that says, you are a gift, the flower power give. I started to organize group gives in different cities. It's sort of become the signature 29 gifts give. My favorite gift that I've given is adopting my little dog, Charlie. My MS diagnosis is a good example of how you can make a lot of grand plans and then a big wind will come along and change everything overnight. This is a picture actually of my husband and I on our wedding day. I think when we were standing on the beach together we both thought we would be going home and having children and buying a house and instead found ourselves in the hospital because I couldn't see out of my right eye and my hands didn't work. A few days later we got the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis and it changed everything about our life overnight. Literally everything. And I feel very grateful that my husband has stuck with me through this and been so supportive. So during my first 29 days I really made a big effort to give a lot of gifts to him. I feel like everything that has unfolded with this project has been totally organic and unplanned and that's the opposite of how I used to live my life. It's changed me to someone who believes that you actually don't have to force everything into place, that, that things will fall into place if you get out of your own way.